Are you up? How are you? I'm great, thank you. Wonderful. Thank you well, look, me. you have a room here full of 150 odd people, so we'll jump straight into it. Great. Thank you very much, Jane, and thank you, Chloe, for inviting me to present um, LSIT in this event, and thank you, for everyone, for uh, for participating. Um, so today I'm going to talk about LSIT. Um, it's, some people are doing some mistakes thinking that we're a drone company. Uh, before I'm jumping into the slide, I would say that what LSIT does is we are providing um, what we call the sticks and shovels to this industry, mainly the, the brain of those systems that what goes on the drones or autonomous robots um, essentially, we're doing highly reliable communication, and that's what I will present with you today, which is um, today a hot market. Everyone hear about it all over from different perspectives, and I'll try to walk you through that. Um, so let's let's get started. Next slide, please. Next slide. Um, so a little bit about the results. Um, if you were looking on 2023, that was the inflection point of the drones or uncrewed industry in general. You can see in the numbers that we more than doubled our revenue. Uh, more importantly, looking on our recurrent revenue, which is an inherent part of our business model, uh, we more than multiplied by more than four times, and we see this growth continue. Uh, when we started Q1, we just uh, announced the results uh, last week. Um, we see a massive growth also coming from um, Homeland Security and government applications, which um, initially we were mainly focused on the commercial markets. And that makes it very interesting because looking on this market and where this market is going um, is position us in a very um, exciting point in time where we are adding more and more partners to our partner list, uh, what we call design wins. Basically, each one of them are building their systems based on our system. And that's how we're growing our business. <clears throat> Sorry, next slide. I will run pretty fast in some of the, of the slides here because of the time. Uh, but I would say that looking on the drone in general, people thinking that it's only for uh, military or government use. And to be honest, today this market is working in so many different um, direction with so many different applications that it's being um, literally disrupted by this technology or this infrastructure. Everything from um, long uh, last middle night deliveries to agriculture, mining, inspection for different type of missions, um, and the list goes on and on. And basically what the drone does or what those system does is make it much more efficient um, and much more productive and save people lives actually, uh, because instead of using, for example, a full size helicopter for grid line inspection, now you can do it with a, with a drone that costs much less, do it much more pro, uh, um, efficiently and don't have any human in the risk um, in the loop. So that makes uh, a fully disruption in many different industries. Again, going back to the point that that's the exciting time that we're at right now, seeing the inflection point of the industry after long years that we are working around it and sitting there. Um, and that's that's part of the reasons why I think outside is very um, exciting today. Next slide. So one point that happened to us in last quarter of last year, um, what happened is that, like I said before, we were mainly focused on the commercial market. Um, working with companies like doing the drone deliveries uh, with for Walmart, we've drawn up one of our partners. So most of our, our deliveries today are done by our systems or our brand that sits on the drone. Um, healthcare services, inspection, like I said, agriculture is another. And then what happened to us last quarter, uh, the quarter last last year, last quarter, was that we were pulled into a new market that. We had this market before we have our legacy in this market, but uh, we were pulled into it because what we hear all over the news and everything. Um, and that's change or that show us a new opportunity that uh, we just discover. And it's a huge opportunity. It's a mature market. And you'll see, you will saw numbers and you'll see uh, in the next slides and the numbers, how it's affected actually our results. And we see this continue not only as a one time, um, but also as something that will continue and how it's affecting us um, as a business. Next slide. Next slide. I will skip a couple of slides because of the time again. Um, but like I said before, what LSAT is doing basically essentially is what we call connection confidence, making sure that nothing, anything that needs to be connected will be connected in the most reliable way. The reason we started with the uncrewed industry is because that's where we thought or that's where, where we saw 
that that is where we have the best market fit, meaning we have a, a great value for, those, for this industry. And it was relatively easier for us to go to this industry. And that's a nascent market, fastly growing, uh, which allow us to grow our business. But the opportunity that we're sitting on, if you're thinking about today's world and what needs to be connected, basically we're all connected all the time. So we are sitting on a massive opportunity that right now focusing mainly in drones or an uncrewed system from there going down to um, more of a government use in homeland security, public safety, um, defense application. And then it goes down even wider when we're talking about IoT that needs reliable communication or different type of systems that need to be constantly connected. And that's where we are basically today focusing here, but starting to see this expansion as we speak starting to see projects that are coming that are not related only to uncrewed system, but also different market segments, uh, which makes it very, again, uh, very interesting opportunity for us to grow the business um, via multiple growth engine that I'll talk about in, in a few slides. Next slide. Next slide. So a little bit about what we do. Next slide again. Sorry for saying next slide all the time. I thought I'm going to control the, the slides here. Um, a little bit about the highlights about l -Site. Um, from technology perspective, everything was developed in-house, both the software, the hardware, everything that we're doing, we're developing. The reason I'm mentioning it is because we have the, the capability of being very flexible and develop our product where we see that our customers and, and, and new markets in need. So that's provided us with the opportunity to be very, very um, productive with what we're doing and being very sharp on how we develop and when we develop what we want to do. The second point is, the nascent substantial market that we took, like I said, we targeted the drone market because it was a nascent market. It was very hard to say this is the market leader and we thought that we can become this market leader. And today, three years after we um, decided to pivot the business towards this direction, we can confidently say that or comfortably say that we are uh, the brand name when it comes to beyond visual line of sight operation. We are the brand in this field. And today, I don't think you'll find someone that is related somehow to the drone industry or autonomous industry that never heard our name. So we have very strong brand recognition uh, connected to high quality, best, uh, best customer support and high quality products, uh, which again, position us in a, in a very interesting position to take over the market. Next point, uh, what, what we, no, next point, sorry, go back. Um, the next point, go well, one slide backward. Thank you. Um, what we want to see as a tech company, we want to see a product market fit. And product market fit means that you see customers using your product and again and again. Um, two points about that. First of all, we are one of the bigger, uh, we are currently uh, participating in the biggest projects that are happening in the drone industry in general. I mentioned Walmart deliveries uh, before. Um, I can speak about many others, but more importantly, if you look on our last quarterly, I think that speak to itself from our existing customers, um, more, than, uh, more than 40 of them are having recurrent order that are constantly ordering every quarter and that shows the growth trajectory, like I said. Speaking of, uh, of growth engines, um, so one, we have the multiple industries that can, we can tackle over time, but what we have right now in front of us is um, expanding our business by having more customers using our product as long as they are developing their product and deploying more and more drones into the field, we are um, part of their growth because in every unit they're shipping out, they have our unit built into it. And last, um, make, making sure that we are increasing the average revenue per unit by providing more and more services and more capabilities to our customers, that's how we do it. Um, next slide, two slides actually. Um, in terms of um, the Halo itself, that's the product is what you see here in the palm of my hand. This is what goes on all the drones. And it's kind of a one size fits all. So it can fit to many different industries and use cases, like I said. And for us, the adaptation between one use cases to, an one use case to another uh, makes it very easy. So the integration and all the um, sales, pro sales process is pretty um, productizing from our side. And now we know how to cookie cut it and to multiple it to many many new markets geographically and, and market segments. Next slide. A little bit about what is inside the Halo. So like I said, essentially what we do is the brain of the drone. We are running an AI algorithm that basically combine all the networks that are available around the drones to be able to 
provide the best quality of service, the best uh, reliability. A good example will be um, five months ago when Optus had the outage in last November, um, our, our customers in Australia were able to continue to communicate without any issues uh, working with their um, platform. So that's something that uh, was very interesting to see how we were able to continue their operation. Um, and I want to play, uh, well, well, we'll skip the video. Um, I, I encourage you to, to look on the full deck um, afterwards and see the video and everything, see um, what actually we are doing and what is the actual IT. So um, if you can move two slides, please. Yeah, our whole concept of how we go to market is the design win concept, which means that every new customer of ours for us is the tip of an iceberg. Basically, um, they're going through all the certification processes, all the integration processes, and it's make it very, very hard for them afterwards to replace a critical component within their system. So like I said, any every new customer that we're onboarding um, is, a, is a tip of an iceberg for us because we are growing the business as they growing theirs. Um, let's move two slides, please. Um, you just saw, you saw a blink of how the market looked like for us um, two and a half years ago and how it's looked like today. So we are onboarding in a very fast pace, uh, new customers, and we're continuously doing it uh, with some interesting names. I'm looking forward about a couple of um, um, news and announcements that we have uh, that are coming out in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we have some in very interesting names within the industry. Some of them are well known that started to use our systems and to see uh, what can be done with it. So um, stay tuned about that. But seeing how we're growing again, uh, that's part of our growth trajectory, making this list larger and making sure that each one of those logos that you see here are growing their business. Next slide. That's just a handful of examples of what our customers are doing from uh, private security to um, inspection of seaports, deliveries, last, last and middle mile deliveries, like I said, medical deliveries for all the uh, blood tests and everything we heard of in today's presentation. Um, some of them are suffering from how long it takes from taking the test to the lab, so making that process faster and more productive. Um, and again, the list goes on and on. Each one of those uh, logos that you saw before represent a story behind it, and I um, because of the time, we want to be able to go through all of them, but um, let's move on. Next slide. Um, like I said, some of what our customers say about us, again, um, I'm not going to cover all of it, but uh, you can see how important our system is for their operation and how they can, um, how they are appreciate our support and our products. And in general, uh, how, what was the epiphany moment for them once they started to work with us and see, well, in saying most of them, that's what we were looking for. And I think that's the best pro product market fit that the company can have. If someone is saying it, um, we, we do them something right. So um, in terms of that, I think we are in a, in a very um, interesting position. Next slide. <clears throat> Our business model is um, built of three main elements. One is the hardware cell that goes on each one of those drones. That's a piece of hardware. Um, you see it there with a very healthy gross margin. And the other two elements are the recurrent revenue, the long tail of the sale. So with every new customers or every new deployment that is happening, and install a new drone, um, we are basically um, having the recurrent revenue that is coming as a, as a long tail, and that's what creates the compound effect uh, when we are getting to sales and increasing our sales, and you'll see it in the numbers. If you can go um, to the next slide, please. So you see this um, uptick in the last quarter, and if we're looking on the first quarter that we announced last week, um, we are remaining the same pace of um, growing our revenue and seeing the high level. And what you see here, nice to see in this chart, is that all those light blue translate into the, um, uh, into the blue below them because every unit that we're selling translates into a recurrent revenue. And you can see how we are continuously growing our recurrent revenue. And we're looking forward to continuing growing these numbers um, over the next um, months, quarters, and years, obviously. Uh, we're seeing this dramatic uptick because of, like I said before, the inflection point of the drone industry or the autonomous industry that is happening as we speak. Next slide. So just to summarize it, um, sorry about being a little over on the time. Um, so from Q4 of last year, what we saw in LSI is that we saw 
this um, split of the two market that we currently can tackle. Actually, we're pulled into this market uh, with a lot of good customers' recommendation. Um, that represents for us a new opportunity, and you saw the, the jump on the revenue in the, in the last quarter of uh, 2023. And we're continuously working to expand that. Like I said before, we're looking forward to put some um, news out that will be very interesting in terms of new partnership and new collaboration we're doing that also translate into revenue eventually. Um, and I'll be more than happy. Sorry for not being physically, but um, I'll be in Australia in end of May, end of May, sorry. And I'll be more than happy to, to elaborate for um, anything you saw here in the presentation. Thank you very much. You have, thank you for the great presentation. And as he did mention, your contact details are on the bottom of the presentations. Uh, but also if you do want a one-on-one -on -one meeting, please feel free to reach out. But thank you for joining us. Thank you.